Yeah, first I want to let you know that it's causing quite a hassle for people who live in the neighborhood on this side of the bridge. On the other side, the McDowell, McDowell Square Shopping Center. Now, the city tells us a company that had the contract decided that they wanted out of the deal. This happened four months ago. This bridge has already been shut down for close to two years. We're happy to tack one another project off of our list. We're happy to... Mayor Shokwe Antar Lumumba said last October the repair job on the McDowell Road Bridge would be complete in four months. Eight months later, the bridge is still closed. According to the city engineer, the contractor working on the bridge pulled out of the project four months ago. It stemmed from a dispute with the city over what to do with AT&T fiber cables near the bridge. Seems to be some, some issues with the communication about where the actual utility was, where it needed to be relocated, and it just took a, quite a bit of time to get all that situated. Engineer Charles Williams said the company also wanted to break their deal with the city because they had gotten a new contract somewhere else. Kind of, you know, decided, hey, we just need to move on, and so we ended up uh, terminating it at their request. The bridge shut down almost two years ago. People who work near the bridge frustrated with the long delay. I live right down the street and I have to detour to work and sometimes I get to the bridge and realize that the bridge is out. And you have to turn around and be late for work. So we have a lot of different infrastructure issues and we're trying to pay attention to each of them as quickly as, and as efficiently as we can. So it looks like the project could get back on track soon. The city council recently approved a new contractor, and the city engineer tells us work should begin sometime next month. This bridge could reopen sometime this fall. For now, we're live in South Jackson, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.